video games, a billion dollar industry. But what exactly are they? Who are the people that actually play them? And most importantly, what kind of game do you need to have to attract women? Good afternoon, Las Vegas. I'm Roberto Rod, and guess what? I'm about to go all up inside you. to have to pick up a woman. What kind of game do you think you need to have in order to approach a woman? A puzzle game, because she has to be smart. Um, one with cute little characters. No fighting, I'm not really into that. My inner child is saying Pokemon. I don't know, probably some Pokemon. You teach girls how to handle balls. Depends if she's into video games at all. I approach it with the old school, because I like it old school. Mario, Legend of Zelda, Sonic the Hedgehog. I'm single, never had a girlfriend, and I'm not afraid to admit that either. What kind of game? Sonic. I usually have my hair all done up kind of like a hedgehog. It's a speed burst. It's really what you have to do, yeah? But you don't want to move too fast. Who are you wearing today? Mario. And Son Goku. Uh, an inkling girl. Tell me about her. Like there's a team of four. You go, you go around uh, covering the area in your goo. You go around and you goo everything. And it uh, sounds a little weirdly sexual, but okay. You, you just made it sexual. I didn't say anything. Do you think that gaming and love go hand in hand? I think so, yes. So what advice do you have for guys out there that are big gamers that are trying to pick up women? Harness your inner chi, like get out your scouter and, and read their power levels. Never hide how nerdy you are. Just bring it out there all at once and you'll find a girl that likes to game just as much as you do. Uh, don't be a dick. You ever bring a girl back to your place, play her in Street Fighter? Once. It ended very well. Oh, it did? Did we? Yeah! When you met your husband, was he a big gamer? Oh, yeah. Would you say that gaming has enhanced your relationship? For sure. That's like what we do together. That's that's how we spend our time. I think it's better when two people are into gaming to begin with. Like, our household's just a geek fest. Are you guys a couple? We're engaged. Are you going to wear these outfits on the night of your wedding? Yeah. Yeah, why not? Look how gaming has brought love together. You gotta catch them all, gotta fuck them all. Gotta catch them all, Pokemon! Mario or Luigi, who would you be more inclined to go out with? Luigi, he's taller. I'm rocking about 5'8 myself. <laughs> would you say that gaming has enhanced your relationship? Almost oh, definitely. That's what it's built on. Gaming, love, be yourself. Don't listen to the haters, keep playing the video games. I don't leave my PlayStation long enough to go out to bars. He's the main tank in my guild and then I'm one of the healers. But the game I am mostly pumped up about is Halo 5. You're watching all up inside you. Oh, did you do one thing? <laughs> sure. Sorry. So there you have it. Looks like gaming and love go together like Mario and Luigi. And as far as how to approach a woman, the only game you need is to be yourself. Or Halo 5. What are you playing? Mrs. Pac-Man. It's a solid game. Solid. <laughs> what is your relationship like with the Joker? Um, it's a love hate. Mostly hate. Have you ever gone over to a guy's house and saw that he had too many games? He's just got too much game. 